right now taking you out to Tel Aviv, Israel. On your screen, a representative with the Israeli government now giving an update to this breaking news. Let's listen in live. And then I'll take your questions. Today is Sunday, 14th of April, 2024. Day 194 of the October 7th war. Make no mistake, our war aims remain the same. Bring home all of our 133 hostages. Destroy Hamas. Ensure that Gaza never becomes a threat to us again. Right at the start of this briefing, I want to express the condolences of all the people of Israel at the killing of 14-year-old Benjamin Achimer, a young Israeli shepherd, brutally murdered. The Prime Minister has made clear that we will bring his terrorist killers to justice. May his memory be a blessing. Now on Iran. As we have been saying, Iran has been pulling the strings since October 7th through Hamas and their other proxies. Now they have decided to take off their mask and act directly against us. Last night, Iran initiated a severe and unprecedented attack, launching hundreds of missiles and UAVs at Israel. To be more precise, 180 suicide drones, 120 ballistic missiles, 30 cruise missiles, all were sent by the genocidal tyrants of Tehran with the explicit intent of killing Israeli men, women, and children. Thankfully, 99% were intercepted. Just imagine an Iran with nuclear weapons, which is why the tyrants of Tehran can never be allowed to obtain them. I want to make it clear that the state of Israel is prepared for every scenario, both defensive and offensive. The prime minister has said that he will, has said that he will harm anyone who acts against us or plans to attack us. Iran continues to destabilize the world and endanger peace in the region by using its proxies against Israel and the free world. Iran never misses an opportunity to call for Israel's total destruction and works actively towards that aim around the clock. No country in the world would tolerate repeated threats of this nature. There was a time in living memory when Jews were defenseless, unable to protect ourselves. Today, Jews have Israel and we will defend our right to live freely in our land. Make no mistake, without the fast action of our forces and the support from our friends, Israel could have woken up to a very different reality. The Prime Minister spoke today to US President Joe Biden following the Security and War Cabinet. We thank the United States and our partners for standing with us at this difficult time. The state of Israel is strong. The IDF is strong. The public is strong. We will defend ourselves against any threat, and we will do so level-headedly and with determination. Now, an update on our efforts to get our hostages released. It has been over a week since the Cairo meeting. Hamas has rejected the outline that was tabled by the mediators. The outline was proposed by the three mediators, including the most significant flexibility on Israel's part. It is further proof, as if we needed it, that Sinwar does not want a humanitarian deal and the return of the hostages. Hamas and their Iranian paymasters want to escalate the region. Israel will realize the objectives of the war with Hamas 
with full force and leave no stone unturned to return the 133 hostages being held in Gaza against their will, a crime against humanity. Now, that's the end of the briefing today. I will take your questions uh, in the chat box. As always, please mention your uh, outlet and your name um, before asking. Okay, David, over to you. Okay, um, we have no questions at the current time. Okay, are there any questions coming in? No, I can't see any questions coming in. Okay, thank you for your time. Same time, same place tomorrow.